Okay, so uh, how exactly did you guys get in the movie business? Richard? Aren't you going to ask us who we are first? Oh, I, I think I think audiences will know who we are by now. No, no, you're right, you're right. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves? Too late now. Next question. All right, well, uh, how exactly did you guys get in the movie industry, Richard? Um, well, if you must know, I'm Richard, and this is Brian. And I think it might have been in early 1997 when we first worked together. Um, <laughs> it's actually, actually a funny story. No, Richard, be tough. We, we promised that it was a drunk mistake, and we weren't going to talk about it ever again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell about some of our other films. <sighs> Shit. Sure enough, not that one. Oh. Definitely not that one. <laughs> I was... Of course, I was talking about the improv we did in New York. Oh, the improv! Yeah, which, my and, uh, favorite! Oh. Didn't, didn't work out too well. What a good group of guys. Oh no! I spilled red wine all over your white carpet! What's up, baby face? We are trying to do a show here! So, uh, after you took a stab at live theater, you decided to jump into the movie industry. What was that transition like? It's actually pretty, pretty funny. Um, I was actually a pretty cute baby, actually. Um, in fact, by the time I was maybe one, I've already been kidnapped twice. Once when I was about a week old, and then about a year later in a mall parking lot. So, I mean, I figured since everybody couldn't get their hands off me already, that I would just bring the Richard Garvey to them. And uh, it was actually a pretty easy transition, because everyone's been pretty much telling me how good looking I am my whole life. Who has ever said you're good looking? You're so good looking. Thanks, Mom. So, I pretty much had a foot in the, uh, in the door of the biz, as we call it. <laughs> your, your mom calling you attractive is exactly a, a, a foot in the door, if you will. It, it wasn't just my mom. So, oh, yeah? Who else? Who else has said it? You are so good looking. Thanks, Big Will. Well, so basically the jump from live theater to the studio was relatively easy for you guys. Yeah, well, live theater, our goal was always pretty much the big screen. So live theater was kind of like a, a gateway, I guess. So, I mean, if live theater was a drug, it would be more like marijuana. When me and Bri, I mean, we, we were always looking for more of like the uh, heroin or maybe like mm -hmm. oh. crystal meth. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that we were, we, we were chosen for the hard stuff. So what were your earlier films like? Um, well, I, what, our first actual It was the, the was, cigarette one. Oh, the cigarette one, you're yeah. right. Um, Richard and I are very involved with the whole youth movement, and uh, we, did a, we did a short, brief public service announcement for uh, the dangers of cigarette smoking. And what, what yeah, and this was, this was in about, what, 2008? Yeah, I so say. this is before people really knew that mm -hmm. uh, smoking cigarettes mm -hmm. was unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, my mom told me. What's up, man? Who are you? Cancer! Bang, bang. We, we try to educate. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, it's clear you two have a great relationship. What about your love lives? Um, well, I mean, I guess I have girls like come and go, but I don't think I've ever really felt love, as I call it. Like, what about you, Bri? <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll see you around. <laughs> Goodbye, my sweet prince. Brian? No, no, no love. A full on love for me. <laughs> you dog. I mean, yeah, I'm such, such a dog for you. <laughs> love and leave him. So, what are some of your other hobbies off the set? Uh, well, me personally, um, this is something that's very dear and close to my heart. Uh, there's, as everyone knows, there's a plague on our nation uh, known as homelessness. And I mean, I like to go, you know, every weekend or so. I, I like to hunt down homeless people and get no, it's okay, and, and pretty much just get rid of them. Um, I mean, they're a plague on our nation, so and they're just no. It's it's not like it's illegal or anything. I mean, talking about just the other week, you had your hands hey, around Brian, his Brian, neck. You're choking the no, light. No. All right, how about you tell me your hobbies again, Brian? Puzzles. I pu I like doing puzzles. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, in my case, I mean. If you don't find me at the church, I'm usually at the local animal shelter. I mean, I don't know what it is about those little guys, especially, especially the stray cats. You know, I really feel like I have a connection with them. I mean, when I hold them in my arms, I can, I can almost feel them talking to me. I can feel the blood pumping through my veins. And then, then I just realize that it's actual blood falling onto my shoes because the little guys have their claws so deep in my arms. I mean, that's, that's the connection I'm talking about. That's gross. So I think I've gotten an in-depth view of the lives of the real rich and Brian today. I really think we have. Yeah, I, I, you got the so, gist of it. Uh, can you let me go now? You know we can't let any of you go yeah. until the police give in to all Seriously, you're going to stop. We've gun around. I mean, it's all loose. Like, it's going all around. Right. Not even loaded. Bang. Oh! 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 I think the muffins are done.